Hey babes and welcome back to my channel. I actually forgot to film this intro, but luckily I still didn't take off the makeup today. So in a way, this is already like the super, super after because I've been wearing this makeup for about 12 hours. So today we're going to check what's in March's Style Tone box. And we're going to like switch it up a bit and do something special that we didn't do yet where I'm actually going to apply the makeup and do like a mini get ready with me and I will try all the products in the box for the first time on my face as part of me getting ready to go out to town. So if you're interested in how those products wore on my face, what was my first impression, how I felt about them, then just keep on watching. Getting some morning realness with my heart's robe. So what we're going to do today is just open the box and try whatever's in it on my face. We have a looks, I call it a pencil brush, they I think call it a blending brush. It looks cute, it's very dense but it's still soft, so it should feel nice on the eye. Yeah, so the biggest thing we have in the box is this eyebrow kit from City Color. Inside it looks like this, we have four colors that I'm not really sure any of them is really good for my eyebrows and we also have like a tiny brush here and also tweezers that's cute nice addition so they say you can mix the colors to like find your perfect brow shade we could try that out we have here by hikari like a finishing silica powder the only problem is that it is 100 percent shattered Ooh, not a nice look i already contacted style tone about this and they said that they might send a new one or because seems like it happened to a lot of people so they might send an alternative product but it didn't happen yet and this is why it took me so long to film this video because i was expecting the new product or the substitute alternative product and it just didn't happen yet and because it's almost the end of march i thought hey let's just film this we have a product by Note, it's that Turkish company, and it is a liquid eyeliner that looks like this. I'm going to try and give myself a flick with it and see how that goes. And lastly, there's a Kiss Proof Lip Cream by Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And I'm not sure if I could wear this color today because I'm going out and about and it's a very, very bold color to walk the streets with during daylight, so we'll see about that. The worst case scenario is I'll just swatch it for you. About like two weeks ago I was in the US and I bought a lot, a lot, a lot of new makeup products and I thought that today I should probably start with a new foundation and it is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It looks like this and this is the shade 5. I'm gonna put it on with the 104 Buffer Brush by Zoeva. I'm going to try and powder this with this shattered Hikari silica powder. Let's give it a go. And I'm going to use a new powder brush by Kiko. It's called Face 07, a blending powder brush. By the way, I always keep these. They're good for just keeping the shape of the brush. Look how pretty it is. It has this slant and it's the softest thing in the world. I really love the new design of the Kiko brushes. I think it's beautiful. So let's try really, really carefully picking up powder from this shattered mess. Hop, 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 hop. Let's take some from the mirror. I'm going to start on my T-zone and then put the rest all over my face. It does look a bit heavy. I don't know whether to blame it on the fact that it's broken or whether it's not a good powder. So we'll see by the time Style Tone either brings me a new powder or we will never know because they might give me an alternative product. So I'm going to try buffing it in to see if it uncakes. Is that a word? <laughs> Ooh. 
Well, it still looks just a tad bit cakey, but I guess on overall, it, it's okay. It works, but I'm not sure if this is like a type of powder I'm going to reach out for. At least not in this shattered situation. I prefer using my HD powder by Makeup Forever. That one is perfect and super non-cakey. Okay, let's move on. Absolutely gorgeous brush. For my contour, I'm going to use the Kevin Kwan Sculpting Powder. And I'm going to try another new brush from Kiko. This one is Face 08 Precision Powder Brush. So we'll see about that. I think it could be good for contouring because it's a very, very tapered type of brush with a tip. So it's still fluffy, see? So it can really like create more of a line and still buff it out. So we're going to try this one. I'm putting it on both sides of the brush. Perfect. Love this brush for this. By the way, I'm using the shade light. They also have medium and deep. I'm going to put some more on my jawline to define that jaw. Give it a nice shadow. I always drag it behind my ears so that it looks seamless. And I'm bringing it a bit into the beginning of the brow bone here in the orbital bone. It gives it a very natural look. Okay. So yeah, I'm loving this brush as well. 08, the new Kiko brushes. So I'm gonna go into brows right now and I feel like the thing that's mostly missing in this kit is a spoolie, which is the way in which you brush your eyebrows. So I'm going to use the spoolie on my brow is and brush upwards my eyebrows. I'm gonna go with them and use the little brush that comes inside. It feels very cheap. It's very dense and it's also hard, so... I'm gonna give it a tiny go, and if it doesn't go well, I'm going to go with just my own brush. So I'm going to start with the color beige, because it's the most cool tone and bright color here. I feel like this brush, because it's so hard, then it's creating all this little fallout. It becomes too powdery, maybe, and maybe ruins the shadow a bit, but let's see. I just don't like how it feels on my skin. It's scratchy. I would probably get rid of this brush and just use a good designated brush for brows. A good example for a good brow brush is the Brow Line by Zoeva. I love Zoeva brushes. The brow powder works. I feel like it's still a little bit too warm. I need something more taupey. So I'm going to add a few strokes of my taupe Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil. Let's just try to check if the tweezers are good. So there are definitely like tweezers on the go because they're so small. Pressing them is actually like requires some energy unlike a normal sized tweezer. So it's good for on the go, but I wouldn't use it to actually tweeze your eyebrows. For eye primer, I'm going to use a new brush. This is the number 40 by Kat Von D. I think they call it the Locket Edge brush. It's a... Uh, Kind of like a 3D shape that uh, tapers into this triangle shape. So I think it should be really easy putting an eye primer with this type of shape. So I'm going to put it directly on the brush. This is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I like a lot. So I'm going to put a bit here and a bit here. And spread it in like a windshield wiper motion because of this shape. It kind of looks like a painter's type of brush. Yeah, that does work really well. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit under my eye as well. Nice. I'm going to set it with my HD Makeup Forever powder. And I'm going to use my trusty old 10 brush by Kat Von D. I would have used the Hikari, but because I already tried it on my face and saw that it was a bit cakey, I thought let's just avoid cakiness in the eyes. So let's try using the eyebrow powders as just an eye shadow. And I'm going to use the Lux brush to put it in my crease. I'm going to use the same one I used for my eyebrows. 
I normally don't use a very dense brush like this for my crease, but we're just gonna have a very defined crease today, I guess. This actually looks pretty nice. I'm definitely enjoying how the brush feels against my crease. It's very, very soft, not scratchy at all. And it still blends the color pretty nicely. By the way, by looking down like this, I can really see where, when I'm looking up, where you could still see my crease. So that's a nice trick for at least people with eyes like mine, small and slightly hooded. So yesterday at Etos, I bought the Eco Tools Limited Edition Anniversary Collection. They're now celebrating 10 years and I never used an Eco Tools type of brush before. And I see here with my little eye, I spot this angled brush that looks kind of fluffy. So I think I'm going to try using it to like diffuse further the eyeshadow that's on my eye right now. So yeah. It also comes with like a aluminium brush holder. Recycled aluminium brush holder. Nice. And it's like rose gold. Oh, they're all tied together. That's so sweet. So here's the slightly angled kind of fluffy brush. Let's see if this works in diffusing the color. I have nothing on my brush now. When I use like angled brushes like this, I actually use them like this so that they work with the shape of the eye. Oh, that did a beautiful job at diffusing the eyeshadow. So let's go back to the Lux brush and I'll take a little bit of the shadow called brown and I'll add it to the outer corner to define further the shape of my eye. I'm also putting it on the lid itself a bit. It usually pulls the eye outwards when you do that. And now just like pulling it outwards and I'll use this again to just diffuse the color, blend it. I didn't put concealer yet, thinking this might have some fallout because I've never used these eyeshadows before. But it seems like fallout isn't a big issue with these eye colors. Eyeshadows, <laughs> not eye colors. They are eye colors, actually. So, it's kind of funny saying it, but this eyebrow kit is so much nicer for just normal eyeshadows. It's a really nice look, and they blend really well. I'm surprised. We're going to give the Ultra Black Dip Liner by Note a go right now. And I still didn't put concealer so that if I somehow make some sort of mistake, maybe I can use it to like erase the line and make it nice and sharper. Well, I did do something wrong, so I'm glad I didn't use concealer yet. I'm not sure exactly what I think about this yet. The tip on this is very small, that's good, so I can really get close to the root of the lashes without creating a huge line, that's good. Three hours later. So I decided to swatch the Bella Pierre Orchid Lip Cream Kiss Proof thingamajing on my lips so that you can see how it looks on the lips. I also wanted to like feel how it feels, although I'm not gonna go out like this, I'm going to wipe it out and put a new color on. So what I can say about it is that you really need to do this after like a good lip liner that you put on because it's not forgiving at all. I had like a mistake here and when I was wiping it off, it just stained my skin here. Texture wise, it dries kind of fast. So again, not very forgiving. And once it dries down, it becomes, this is the tiny swatch I did, indeed kiss proof. So they're right about it being kiss proof. And it's also a pretty color. Usually purple colors don't swatch very well or just don't sit very well on the lips with just one layer, but this is just one layer and I think it looks relatively good. Pretty opaque, not splotchy or blotchy. So overall, this might be a really good lip cream, so yeah. I'm back and I'm ready to go, so we're just going to go through all the products that we used in March's box. So definitely the most versatile product in this box is this eyebrow kit by City Color. The fact that it has just shades that could be used as eyeshadows is so cool and 
basically as eyebrow shadows they're also pretty okay so this is definitely something I think I would use again I really like the blendability of the colors they're very neutral so they can work for so many different eye looks so this one is great not necessarily for what it's supposed to be used but still great eyeshadows I'm not gonna even bother taking it out of the box this is the pressed silica powder by Hikari and it's just shattered I'm not sure if it's supposed to work the way it does I can't say anything too definitive about it the Luxe brush was a really nice surprise it blends well it feels very nice on the eye and it was very easy dispersing the color on the lid with it the Bella Pierre kiss proof lip cream was also at least seemingly a good product it was definitely kiss proof it was easy to put on it wasn't very forgiving when it comes to mistakes so I would only use it after using a very well-defined lip liner shaping the shape of your lips but overall it's probably a good product I still need to check out its longevity but it seems promising the note ultra black dip liner is definitely very very dark very opaque and it also has a very fine tip which kind of helps creating a very very tiny flick if you know how to work with these I usually do my eyeliners with a gel liner I find it a little bit more easy for me to work with but for a liquid eyeliner I think this one's very good it also seems like it is kind of long wearing but I'm going to see about that today so like I said in the beginning of the video I've been wearing this makeup for 12 hours now and one of the things that I was more curious about is the longevity of the eyeliner so I'm going to zoom you in so you can see it too as you can see the eyeliner stayed sharp opaque it didn't budge it didn't flake it stayed exactly like it looked the moment I wore it so it definitely wears beautifully and as for the city proof eyeshadows they held up beautifully too I know it's not part of the box but also the foundation wore it really nicely and didn't become too oily which I would have expected because it's like a radiant type of foundation by the way the products that I used further for my eyes that I didn't get to mention for mascara I used this one by the balm called mad lash it's pretty good but one thing I need to address is that using the note dip liner it kind of like glued together my eyelashes while I was you know hitting them accidentally it kind of gave me not a very beautiful mascara application so I guess what I would do is make sure to like wipe your eyelashes with a wet wipe before applying mascara on them so that they're not sticked and glued together like mine were and one more product I used for my eyes was the aqua xl purple well this one is actually called violet pencil in my waterline some of it is still there which is amazing that's it for this video of the style tone unboxing so please write it down in the comments if you like these types of videos give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's right down here that little red button saying subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram it's yoffy beauty and also on facebook it's yoffy beauty doreen makeup artist i'll see you in the next video and i love you so 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 much bye <laughs>